Hello, my name is Liz Blake and this is day 11 of 30 Days Live, uh, where I'm talking about some very real things to do just in a few minutes each night, uh, very real things that are to do with the life of an entrepreneur. Um, now, the top need of a business, of course, is to have clients and in actual fact, in, to have sales. And there's no business without sales. It's just all talk. And um, and so, so therefore, all of marketing, this is this is why we learn marketing and you have to learn marketing and effective marketing because um, all marketing is the objectives is to find, to reach and attract the uh, your ideal clients. And, of course, the quicker you can do that, the better. Now, why? Because, of course, you get uh, faster profit, but you also get faster momentum. You get into momentum quicker and momentum, think of that as a bit like entering compounded interest in the best way. Okay, so you know how once you enter compound interest in in um, uh, for credit, that's on the bad side of compound interest of, of um, compounding interest. Interest, you know, it it gets out of control. Now that's what you want in your business is to kind of get into momentum faster. Can't be a bit hair in my eye. Um, okay, so now uh, if you're an existing entrepreneur or a corporate person who's wanting to exit, who's wanting to uh, you know, build a business and, uh, and and have an exit strategy from work. Uh, of course, the big question is, how do you get there? Now, this is only a couple of minutes tonight, but a thought on that is how do you get there? Is It's not about looking good. It's not looking about looking like you're, you've already arrived. Pardon my dog sneezing. <laughs> Didn't realise he was going to do that. And um, But there is, there's a couple of things. Um, there's strategy and there's tactics. Now, I've learned this and I've made the mistakes along the way as well. I've had my fair share of of uh, success and failures, okay, mistakes, um, but I've learned from them. So strategy and tactics are a very, very different thing. And there's, the world is full of, uh, the market is full of people, um, uh, some, a few people who are really genuine, a very small percentage who are authentic, I will say, and, and there's a lot of blustering and there's a lot of hot air. So What's the difference between strategy and tactics? And this is this is a business question. Um, tactics is what most people teach and what you'll be taught most things. Uh, tactics like uh, learn how to do a webinar, learn how to um, to do lead magnets, and learn how to do certain steps in the the marketing process. And then when you put them all together, um, it's it's supposed to kind of bring you know turn uh, people you've never met before and don't know you exist gradually over a period of time to um, to get some of them in, in sales. Okay, now I'm speaking very realistically. Um, so tactics, the thing with tactics is that there is work involved. Yes, they, of course they can work. And, and of course they do work, you know, but we're looking at effectiveness. Um, so how, so what I look at is, is what are the weaknesses? What are the points in each of those tactics that I could reach somebody and they fall off because they don't trust me enough, because they haven't had the process of trusting me. They haven't um, got to know me because they haven't got that far. Um, and, you know, there's any amount of reasons people will, a good prospect may, um, may just drop off. And so, therefore, any tactic that I'm using, and I've tried tactics in the past, and in fact, uh, some years ago, I tried quite a few things, and it kind of end, it ended up really quite disillusioning me because it didn't quite come together. Um, and so, uh, so I know what doesn't work well, <laughs> what does work well. Um, so I look at what are the weaknesses of those tactics. What are the points that those, all the points of those prospects, those hard one and sometimes, uh, you know, costly, um, uh, where they can drop out because that, that, of course, the more drop out, that um, lowers your return on investment. So now let's compare that with a methodology or a strategy, okay, or a model. So think strategic. So what's a strategy? You see, tactics go out of date. Um, tactics can be useful for a time and they can uh, become irrelevant as the market changes. And so then you have to learn another tactic. Then you have to learn another tactic and you sort of got to start again. Whereas with a, with a strategy, you can 
you learn this a strategy and you can just swap out the tactics. The tactics are less critical. They're much more swap out outable. Um, and a model, the method, a method, methodology must quickly engage your ideal client and, well, firstly, it needs to find them too, but, you know, take them through that whole thing. Uh, quickly build trust, build authentic connection in a short space of time. That's what I would call a good methodology. And how do I know this? Because I've seen good and I've seen bad. And of course, I'm sticking with the good. Okay. So what if? What if you could achieve all your marketing objectives at once? Think of if you've learned lead magnets and, you know, all the, the different um, steps in the ladder towards bringing a sale. Imagine if you could achieve all of those marketing objectives, so achieve all the, the objectives of all those steps in a very short space of time. I'm talking about a matter of days instead of months, 18 months, 12 months, or perhaps never. Because the longer you try, um, I know this I know this territory very, very well. And the longer you try, you have to try, the uh, the harder it becomes because you've got you lose you start losing confidence. What if you weren't ignored and invisible, if you could be not ignored and invisible by to your ideal clients? That's a really awful thing. And with the uh, last time I spoke about, a couple of days ago, I spoke about the AI, the proliferation of marketing. The digital marketers are hot on this. I mean hot like you would not believe. And and it's going to be very, very, very soon. You, the critical thing will be learning how to uh, to attract the attention, how to be visible, how to be visible and how to be not ignored. Okay, so... Um, and it's really awful if you find an ideal client and they don't want you. So this all comes into a strategy. How do you achieve all that at once? Um, so, but what if you could be in demand? If you could go from that invisible and ignored to in demand. So I do happen to know how to do that and, and how to teach that in a very short time. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying everything's easy. Nothing worthwhile is easy, 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 but it's quite simple. Okay, um, so just to wrap this up, uh, to we will never have, if you're in corporate and you, you're going into a business and want to go into a business, find your freedom that way, a haphazard application of tactics or ad hoc or just changing, swapping, you know, changing things is not going to do it for you. It's not going to give you a map out into living the freedom, the free life that you'd like. And it's not going to work also. It's not going to bring the, the sales in for, um, for someone already in business as well. I really advocate pursuing what is real, what really works, what's working right now. And, um, and I will be demonstrating what I've been talking about, what I've been pointing to today. Um, I'll be demonstrating that um, in about three or four weeks' time. So um, if, if that kind of looks curious, just pop something in the comments or uh, DM me. But um, I hope you've in, enjoyed that and um, got something out of that and that's our day 11 done for tonight. Business is sales or it's all just talk. That's it. Now, sorry, when, when I say business, I'm assuming we're providing a terrific product or a terrific service. <laughs> Okay, that's the assumption of first base. Okay, see you next time. Thank you for joining me.